Yo, 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 what's going on, you degenerate gamblers? Welcome back to the Bust Your Bookie Show. Today is Tuesday, May 21st. We went 3-1 and one in our plays from two days ago. Obviously, yesterday we had no NBA games to bet on, but we are 10-2 and two overall in our last three days. Let's keep things rolling today. If this is your first time here, welcome to the Bust Your Bookie Show. What we like to do is to try to give away 40 bucks. If you would like to qualify for the giveaway, all that you need to do, number one, hit the subscribe button. Hit it right now. Number two, comment below. Four, no, you got to leave that comment. Give us the good vibes. And number three, like the video. If you do all that and we sweep going a perfect four and no, I will randomly cash up somebody 40 bucks. We did it three days ago. We've gotten close back to back three and one days. I think we're going to do it again today. Let's go ahead and dive into it. We've got one game to talk about, but you guys know I've been killing with some player props. So I got two of those for you guys as well. All right, Indiana at Boston, the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, these should be some really nice games. We're looking at a 10 point spread in Boston's favor. Looking at the injury report for Indiana, you still got Matherin. He's out, he's not expected to be back in the playoffs. For Boston, the big name still is Kristaps Porzingis. Right calf strain, it's said that he's unlikely to be on the court for game one. Might come back for the finals if they get there, but it doesn't sound like anything quick will happen with him. All right, let's take a look at some overall ATS trends. Indiana 51, 42, and 3 on the season. Over the last 10, they are 6 and 4 on the road, 25, 23, and 1. For Boston, 47, 40, and 5 pushes. Last 10, they are 6 and 4. At home, they're 25, 20, and 2. Let's talk about what these teams have done against each other this season. They have played five times. Going all the way back to November 1st, Boston won this game and they covered. They scored a ton of points. They won 155 to 104. Then in December, Indiana won and covered 122 to 112. January, they played three times. I want to say it was the uh, in-season tournament. Boston won 118 to 101. Indiana won 133 to 131. And then Boston won most recently at uh, the end of January, 129 to 104. However, Indiana did cover that game. So out of the five times that they've played, Boston is three and two against them this year. However, Indiana is three and two ATS wise, definitely worth noting. Let's take a look at some key stats here. Over the last three games, you've got Boston averaging 109, Indiana though 112. They're both shooting it very well from the three point line. Boston at 40.4% over the last three, Indiana very hot shooting 44.2%. We know that this is slightly inflated due to the fact that they went nuts last game i think they had like the best shooting performance of all time in the playoffs that's going to help your shooting percentage obviously with all this being said we're going to go ahead and take the points here give us indiana plus 10 i think it's too many points um while i do think boston wins and they will i do have them winning this series by the way i projected indiana to win the series and obviously they did last one hopefully we're right here but I think this is too many points for game one. You know, Indiana has proven that they can score with the best of them. Uh, on the season, this team averages almost 122 per game. Does not drop that much on the road. They're shooting it lights out lately. I think they're going to be able to keep this game within 10 points. Uh, the fact that Porzingis is still out for Boston, I think, is a big injury. So we're going to take the points. Give us Indiana plus 10 as the first play of the day. All right, looking at the over-under. 221.5. And let's talk about what these teams have done recently. Indiana, over their last 10, they've gone over six out of their last 10 games. Boston is five and five to the over under. But we will go back and take a look at kind of their scoring. I mentioned Indiana 112 over the last three, 109 for Boston. So you take these two numbers, you would be slightly under. Uh, that gives you, I think, 221. So that would be a half point under. Obviously, it doesn't always work that way. But if you look also defensively, it would also lean us to the under. Indiana allowing 111 and Boston allowing 97.7. 
that would easily hit the under as well. So with this being said, we are going to go ahead and take the under 221.5. While both these teams can score the ball, as I mentioned, they are both shooting the ball very well. I could just see some, you know, uh, first game conference finals, just jitters. I think they're going to come out and uh, be a little tight. I think the defense will be solid on both ends. But I just see kind of some cold shooting to start off as they kind of break into this. Looking at head to head, what they've done against each other uh, as far as the season. Um, it opened up uh, 233 and a half in the first time they played back in November. It went over. Then it went under 245.5, went under 250. And then the last two games went over 246 and over 249. Obviously, those were big numbers, and they did go over the last two. And then that's why, you know, I think a lot of the uh, people might say that the over is the play here based on what they've done during the season. But I've talked about this before. When it comes to the playoffs, the refs are letting more physical play go. The defense has been tighter in general. And as I mentioned, I just don't expect them to shoot as well in this first game. I think we'll see some early conference final jitters. You got a lot of players uh, especially for Indiana that have not been in this position before. So I wouldn't be surprised if the defense kind of leads the way for both these teams to start off before they kind of get in a groove and start scoring. So 221 and a half is a big number in the playoffs, especially we're going to take the under 221.5 as our second play of the day. All right, let's get into some juicy player props. We've been banging these lately, guys. Let's keep it going. The first one we're going to talk about is going to be Jalen Brown. We are looking at this one as first quarter points only. That's right. You guys know I look at everything. We're getting super specific here, and I'm dialed into this one. All right. The line is only 5.5. And as far as the juice goes on this one, it's only minus 125 that I'm looking at right now. All right. So as far as his hit rate, in the last 12 times Brown has played the Pacers, he's gone over this number 11 out of 12 times. He's averaging 8.2 first quarter points against Indiana over the last 12 games. We got to love, love it from that angle, obviously. On the season, it doesn't get, you know, terrible there either. He's gone over this number 47 out of 70 games on the season, hitting it at 67%. On the year, he's averaging 7.2 first quarter points. So I like it what I see from that angle. The last thing we'll talk about is just the last five games and what he's done. He's gone over this three out of five games, averaging 7.2 as well. And uh, so I like everything that I see in this angle. Um, you know, Brown is, is arguably the uh, second best player, you know, I think for sure anyways, for Boston. Uh, he's going to come out aggressive, although I don't think, like I said, neither of these teams are going to shoot it great to start off. We just have a line of five and a half here. So give us over first quarter points for Jalen Brown, over 5.5 as our third play. All right, our fourth and final play now, we are going to look at Al Horford, and we're looking at his points plus rebound line. This line is at 16.5 as far as the juice we're looking at a plus money play here. That's right. I'm giving you guys some plus money plays. It's hard to find plus money plays as far as player props go, but I'm seeing this one currently at plus 100. So I like it from that angle. All right. Let's talk about as far as the uh, last five games goes for this bet. Over the last five, Horford, when you're looking at his points and rebounds, he has gone under this number four out of the last five times. Head-to-head, -head, Horford against Indiana. He's gone under this one seven out of the last ten times he's played Indiana, only averaging 14.2 points plus rebounds. So that's more than two less than our current line of 16.5. Gotta, gotta love that. Looking at Horford's last five, he did have a big game against in the closeout game against Cleveland, 22 and 15. Huge. But before that, six and six. Before that, two and seven. Eleven and two. Uh, seven and eight. So he's been really struggling to shoot the ball. Um, I mentioned this the whole time that I think both these teams kind of start off a little bit sluggish. 
I also like defensively how Miles Turner plays defense. I mean, he's an active guy, can move his feet, pays attention to scouting reports. I think he's going to get out and really contest Horford. He can block shots. He's got a long wingspan. So I do like it from that angle. The last thing we'll talk about is just on the season. And he's gone under this number 41 out of 65 games on the season, only averaging 15 points plus rebounds. So all three angles, both head-to-head -head on the season and over the last five, would trend us to the under here. I mentioned I think they start off a little bit slower. I like the defense that Miles Turner has the ability to play here. Um, even Toppin, when Toppin gets a, you know in the game, he's a very active athletic player that will be guarding Horford sometimes. So give us under Horford's points plus rebounds, which is 16.5 right now. We're taking the under as our fourth and final play of the day. That's going to wrap it up for us today. As I mentioned at the beginning, if you would like to qualify for the $40 giveaway, number one, subscribe to the channel. Number two, comment below, four and oh. Give us the good vibes, baby. And number three, like the video. If you do all that and we sweep going a perfect four and oh, which happened just two days ago, or I should say two uh, betting days ago, then I will randomly cash up somebody 40 bucks. Our motto on this channel is to bust your bookies ass. We've been doing that lately, a 10 and two run that we were on. Let's keep it going. Let's go for the sweep today.